Hey everybody, Yankee here. Please excuse the odd background today. Uh, I'm standing in front of the entrance to my gun safe here and I can't pull my green screen down because I wanted to wear this awesome wear possum shirt that was sent to me by 545 by 39. Uh, that kind of rhymes, awesome wear possum. Uh, I wanted to wear it today and it's got some green in it. And if I do the green screen thing, it's gonna look like I have extra holes in me and I don't want that. So you're just gonna have to put up with this odd background just for today. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video today is I want to update people on the cross draw method that I've been trying. If you remember, it's been one month ago today that I first carried cross draw. Uh, that was when I got my cross draw holster uh, from Steel Hide Leather here, and I started carrying in this manner. And I wanted to update you today, let you know what I think about it. Do I like it? Is it safe? Are there problems? Some people have issues with it, and I want to go over that, which is, it's weird that the people have issues with it, because usually it's the people who have issues with this that actually appendix carry. So I want to go over all of that. But first, I want to talk about, do I like it? Yes, I love it. It solves a lot of the problems I have when I carry strong side. Now, I carry outside a waistband. Uh, unlike a lot of people, that's how I carry. I like to carry the most comfortable and most accessible way possible. And when you do that, I run into some problems. I'm banging it on door frames, catching it on chairs at uh, restaurants. You know, it's hard to get to when you're uh, sitting down. You can't put your seatbelt on in the car very easily. This solves all those problems. This is great. You know, it doesn't hook on things. It doesn't bang on things. Uh, it's just really nice. You can put your seatbelt on. You can access it while you're sitting. It just solves a lot of the problems of strong side, outside waistband carry. Also, uh, as far as concealability goes, I think it's actually better than strong side. Now, you might get a little bit more of a bump with this since the grip is sticking forward right here. Uh, and most people are not used to seeing a bump on the front of me, so this is, you'd think, would stand out. But it actually doesn't. Here's the thing. When you're carrying strong side, you're printing right here. And people from behind you can see that, and when they see a bulge right here, a lot of people think gun. Not most people. Most people aren't even going to pay attention to you. But the ones that are paying attention are going to think that guy might have a gun, right? Because of where it's at. With this bump, it's in the front. It usually is covered by the pocket or something of your cover garment. So it looks like you got something in your pocket or you have your hand in your pocket. Put your hand in the front pocket of your sweatshirt. You never know it's there. And you can have your hand on your gun button feeling comfortable. You know, whatever you want to do. So uh, I find that not only does this not print any worse than this, but where it's at, you can't see it from behind. That's a good thing because people can see that from behind. You can't see this from behind. You can't really see it from straight on. You can see it from the side more than anything, but then again, it just looks like it's the natural fold of your shirt or something's in your pocket. Or maybe you got a colostomy bag or some sort of IV pump. When it's right here, people just don't think gun. So uh, I think it carries very well. I really like it. I'm going to carry this way more often, it solves a lot of the problems I've had in the past. And like I said, I think in some ways it's much more discreet. Before I move on, I do want to address one issue. Some people worry that the gun is set too horizontally, that it's going to fall out of the holster. Well, it's not exactly horizontal. It does tilt backwards a little bit, and the holster has great retention. So there's no risk of this gun actually coming out of this holster. you got to put some effort into it. But if it makes you nervous, you can get the same holster with a strap, a retention strap, to make sure that can't happen. I personally don't like retention straps, but that would be up to you. Now let's talk about, is it safe? Now, some people worry about it being unsafe because they think, well, it's constantly flagging someone behind you. Well, if you actually look at the angle the gun's at, it's pointed at the ground about four feet behind me, maybe five feet. So unless there's someone standing right there, I'm not flagging anybody. Uh, if there is someone standing there, they shouldn't be there. I don't like people being that close to me. Even in a grocery store line, they're not that close. If they are that close, they're standing too close, and I'm going to move up a little bit or get in front of my cart. I've done that before because people like come up with something in their arms, and they get too close to you from behind. So I will move to the front of my cart to put some space between us. Uh, so if you're aware of things like that and you take care of that problem, that's probably not going to be a problem. You know, 99% of the time there's not going to be someone there. So the 1% of the time that there might be, be extra cautious. Uh, and as far as drawing it, a lot of people think, well, you're going to be flagging the people to uh, your weak side. 
Well, that's not always the case. If you draw it, just yank it out and like, Bleh! well, then yeah, you're going to flag a lot of people. Same thing if you draw a strong side, if you don't do it right. But if you draw this correctly, if you draw with it downward and bring it up, you're really not flagging anybody at all. So you're not really putting anybody in danger that doesn't need to be in danger. You know, the guy on the other end of the barrel. So just a little bit of practice. You can carry this way very safely. Now, is it as safe as appendix carry? Well, it's way more safe than appendix carry. A lot of people like to think, well, with appendix carry, I'm not pointing at anybody. And I don't got to flag anybody. Well, you're always flagging someone. You. And here's the thing. This person might be here 1% of the time. You're there 100% of the time. Every time you draw that gun, every time you holster that gun in appendix carry position, you're flagging your little twig and berries. If you've got a twig and berries, you might not have a twig and berries. You might have, I don't know what I would call that as a euphemism, but uh, something else. Uh, I don't know, bird's nest? Would that go in? Would that work? But you're always pointing at your femoral artery no matter what sex you are. So you're always 100% taking a risk when you draw that gun or holster that gun when you're appendix carrying. This situation, very seldom ever risking anybody's safety, and it's not my own safety, for one. It's someone who shouldn't have been that close to me. And even then, like I said, that's such a small percentage of the time. So small of a percentage, I wouldn't worry about it. Just be aware. And like I said, when you're drawing, if you draw correctly, you're not putting anyone at risk. Appendix carry, you're always putting someone at risk. So the notion that this is just as bad as appendix carry is ridiculous. It's just not the case. And like I said, carries so nicely, so easy to draw, so much easier than this when you got a bad shoulder like I do. This is just so much a more natural movement, you know, this whoop, just so much better. So everything about this so far, I've been liking. Uh, this steel hide leather holster that I bought has been a really good investment. I'm gonna have to get some more uh, because I might wanna carry something different here. But I will have to say this two and a half inch barreled Python is perfect for this type of carry because it doesn't stick out too far in the back. Now I could go longer, probably to four inch and wouldn't have any problem at all. If I went to six inch, I'd have some weird printing here. But this two and a half inch is perfect. I've loved it. Like I said, you could go to three inch or even a four inch probably, but the two and a half inch just seems to be that perfect spot. Three inches would probably be the perfect spot, but two and a half inches is what I like. Uh, you know, I don't want to feel threatened by my firearm. I don't want to be feel like I'm inferior. So I like that two and a half inch barrel. So just want to let everyone know after one month of carrying cross draw, I love it. Uh, unless I have to, I don't see any reason to go back to strong side, except for when I want to carry a very specific gun that I don't have a holster for, or it's bigger. You know, I want to open carry and show it off. But as far as concealed carry goes, this way right here seems to be the best, especially if you're like me, where you always either open carry, like I'm dressed right now, or you just wear an open face sweatshirt or uh, shirt jacket type thing. This is perfect because you just flop, grab, you're ready to go, and it conceals very well. And it's a place most people aren't looking. I mean, how many people go around looking at people's crotch from, from the front? Uh, now, you might look at people's back end from behind all the time because they can't see you, but straight on them looking at your crotch, you're probably going to notice that. So, like I said, I think this is awesome. I don't think it's unsafe in any way. If you're careful, you reduce even that tiny little bit of risk you have from the way you're carrying. But you're not risking yourself, and you're probably not risking anybody else. It carries just as easily, if not easier, than strong side. And, like I said, I think it has a lot of advantages when it comes to moving around with it and just keeping it concealed. So, as far as I'm concerned, uh, cross draw carry gets two thumbs up and I plan on doing it as much as possible.